Okay, so if you're new here, welcome in. We get together here every Monday and Friday. On Mondays, we look at the energy from Monday through Thursday, and then on Fridays, we look at the energy from Friday through Sunday, okay? We do it in chunks, that way it's not too much, but if I'm out of town, then I do the whole week, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to align the heart chakra first, then we're gonna get our fairy blessing, and then y'all are gonna pick the deck that I use because I want you to connect with it. We go by majority rules, and then I will pull a card for each day, and then I'll get additional oracle messages from different oracle. I have so many over here. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, we get additional oracle messages that confirm the reading and give us a little bit more information as well, okay? So if you have any questions about tarot, questions about numerology, questions about spirituality, uh, life and relationships, all of those things, feel free to ask. This is a collective reading, um, but I mean, this is what I do every day, okay? This is my full-time business. And it's what I love, all right? So I'm happy to help in whatever way I can. So first, let's align the heart chakra. <laughs> Excuse me. All you do is just breathe and relax, okay? If you're in a place where you can just like sit up, put your feet on the floor, relax your shoulders and relax your jaw and be able to close your eyes and breathe, do so. Just take a few seconds for yourself to align the heart chakra, okay? You just listen to the, to the bowl sing, all right? Here we go. Now let's collectively take one super deep breath in and then hold it in your chest. Expand your lungs, expand your ribs, pick up all the heaviness. Now blow it out quickly. There we go. Getting rid of all that negativity. Okay. We don't want that in our heart chakra at all. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, y'all are so sweet. She said her book is amazing. Buy it. <laughs> You know, the book she's referring to is, I am also the author of Mystic Muses for the Modern Goddess. You can find this on Amazon, okay? So hopefully TikTok doesn't dock me for that. Just make sure I'm not missing any comments. Okay, good. All right, so let's get our fairy blessing, and then y'all are going to pick the deck that we use. You don't know if you have someone else's energy or your own right now? Well, do some self-examination and you can say, if this is not mine, I release it, okay? I claim my own power back. All right, what is our fairy blessing for this week? We've been getting some new ones, which is nice, finally. <laughs> what is our fairy blessing for this week? Okay, so we've got a blessing of, I think it's Ain. The, as you see, the font is kind of hard to read. I'll pull it from the book. It's number nine. Okay, so we just had the new moon, right? We had the new moon in Leo. It's still, like, we're still feeling the effects because it was yesterday, right? This is a time where you want to start planting the seeds over the next uh, couple more days. You start planting the seeds of what you want to bring into life, okay? Let's see what this wants to tell us. What is our blessing? Okay, the fairy gift of physical innocence, the blessing of knowing your body is your own. Look at that. Somebody was just talking about, I don't know if this energy is mine or not, <laughs> a source of gladness and enjoyment. The fairies now bless you with a restoration of your innocence, that sense of being completely cleared of any guilt or dissonance around your body and your right to have completed sovereignty over your physicality. Your body belongs to you, fairy friend. It is yours to share or to hold to yourself. It is yours, I'm sorry, it is your choice to take lovers to be free of all commitments or explore. It is your choice, and as long as you follow the magical principle of do no harm, you may do as you will. So essentially what it's saying is you can, you have complete control over your body. You decide if you're going to share it. You decide if you're going to keep it to yourself. You just need to understand how energy works. So if you're sharing your body with somebody else, you need to understand that you are absorbing their energy, Okay. And if you don't know how to cleanse that energy, if you don't understand that, then think of the people that you have, not just sexually, 
the people that you've embraced, the people that you've been around, and you're just absorbing all of their energy. And they're absorbing yours as well, right? So this is why it's really important to take your power back, to release things that are no longer yours or that aren't yours at all, and to bring your power back to center, okay? Does that make sense? So it's like, yeah, you have the right and the ability to do as you please with your body, but you need to also understand the consequences of doing so without knowing what you're doing, okay? So I like that. And it's number nine because nine indicates wisdom, right? Nine indicates like, okay, I finally understand that, like I've come to the realization that this is mine. I can do whatever it is that I want. As long as, as, long as I'm not hurting myself or anybody else, it doesn't matter. But you have to understand, like I said, how energy works and you can unknowingly be hurting yourself by engaging physically with people that are of a toxic vibration. Does that make sense? Y'all let me know. Okay, so make sure I didn't miss anything. Y'all get that? So, makes total sense, good, okay. So here's the two decks that we're gonna choose from. We have the Golden Nouveau, I'm sorry, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. It's a metallic tarot deck, it's really pretty. I haven't used this in a long time. This is like I rearranged my shelf and I guess this one was kind of hiding. This one, I know I've never used, but my mentor gave it to me when I went to go visit her in London. So we can try this one too. So deck one or deck two, let me know in the comments. Only vote, only vote once please. And then y'all help me keep track of who votes for what, like how many votes we get for what. So one or two. This is the Elemental Power Tarot and this is the Art Nouveau. One or two. Okay, looks like most people are looking at two, nice. I think twos are getting it. <laughs> Two is on TikTok? Okay, cool. And I think it's got it on Instagram as well. I don't know. Here come the ones. <laughs> One or two. You can't vote for both, Lisa. <laughs> so I think two's got it, you guys. Y'all can confirm, but I'm pretty sure they that it did. Okay, two's got it. All right, so here's the thing. Don't forget, you guys, our master class is coming up very quickly. It's not this coming weekend, but it's next weekend, all right? That is our six-figure, I'm sorry, our universal blueprint to six-figure success master class. If you have not enrolled, you're gonna wanna do so pretty quickly because I do cut off enrollment. Uh, it's like a day or two before. I'll have to look and confirm when I set up the event. Um, you know, I'll cut it off. That way I can prepare and get all the emails out to the right people. So if you have not joined the masterclass yet, but you do plan on doing so, do so as soon as you can. All right. So I can make sure I've got you on my list to send the emails to you. God, these are not easy to shuffle. It's going to be interesting because like I said, I have not used this deck. So this will be our first time together. For everyone that has gotten the elite VIP ticket to the class, uh, I will be contacting you separately to schedule your one-on-one 30-minute -on -one session, okay? All right, let me just reconnect with these. Hang on. Okay. So let's find out what is happening this week. Whoa. What is coming up for us this week? What do we need to know for this week? Okay, for today, oh, we got the Eight of Pentacles. Look at that. The Eight of Pentacles is nice. This is our entrepreneur card. This is about doing what is necessary to bring yourself to a higher level, okay? This could be self-improvement. This could be your entrepreneurship, starting that business. I think we got this last week, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be sometime last week. Um, 
This is about investing in yourself, doing the work, and like doing what's necessary, like I said, to bring you to the next level. It could be working on self-improvement, working on your finances, working on your business. Whatever it is that's going to boost yourself, that's what you want to do, okay? This is all about the physical, right? So we had this new moon. You want to plant those new seeds of abundance and prosperity, of good health, of peace, of happiness, whatever it is that you are seeking. You plant those seeds and then here it comes and then you do what is necessary because the Eight of Pentacles is not just about, oh, I'm just going to like say this and then go on about my life and like cancel it out with all my toxic traits, right? You have to pay attention. You have to have self-awareness. So if you're planting seeds, of what you want to bring into your life, then you have to be aware of ways that you may be canceling it out, of ways you may be setting up blocks. But you also want to be aware of ways that you can speak that into your life more and more, okay? Like we always say, you have to speak about something that has happened, like it's happened already, you know? Like I have, I don't know, whatever it is, like a, a wonderful business and I love my clients and I bring in new clients every day and you know, I get paid every day, whatever it is that you want to say, like you have to speak it as though it's happening now, because that's the only energy that the universe understands of what's happening right now, right? So this is about you doing what is necessary for you to gain financially, or it could be anything physical, but this is the entrepreneur card, okay? So it's a great day for business. <laughs> so if you're wanting to enroll in the masterclass, there you go, great day to do so. All right, let's look at tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the Six of Wands. Look, success, you guys. All this fiery energy showing up with the Eight of Pentacles. So the Six of Wands is all about moving forward with the support of either your community or the divine, or both, right? It needs to be both. So the Six of Wands is whatever you do, you can expect to be successful. You, you can expect to have the support of the universe and the people around you if you are on the same like level as them. And I don't mean a level as I'm better than you, right? It doesn't, it's not like that. It's like, are you on a similar path, right? Because if you're not, then the people are not around you are not going to understand you and they're not going to support you just because they can't conceive what you're doing. They can't, they can't understand it, right? So if you are, one of the first rules of success is being in a mastermind, okay? A mastermind is a group of people that are working towards a common goal, okay? So if you're in a mastermind and you're working towards something, then you're gonna have the support of that mastermind. For example, like my tribe is a mastermind. The collective is a mastermind, right? They're on two different levels, but they're, they're still a mastermind. So if you're working towards something, you have that mastermind going, yes, we support you, go for it, right? It's also about allowing yourself to be seen and be supported. You know, people are trying to support you. Are you, are you negating that? Are you denying that? For example, <laughs> Um, next Saturday, this coming Saturday is my birthday and my wonderful friend Jenny is like, let's have a pool party at my house. And I said, okay, we'll have a pool party. And we're talking about the menu and stuff like that. And, um, we're discussing everything and they're like, you don't worry about anything. We'll take care of it. And I was like, no, I don't, I don't expect y'all to do that. Like, I don't expect you to bring all the things and take on the expense. Like I'm happy to pay for this, like food and stuff. And they're like, no. This is your birthday, and I have to be like, okay, okay, I, I okay. <laughs> you know, it's just how we can be, right? So think of tomorrow as a day of if you're moving forward on your journey of where you're trying to get yourself, then you will expect success. You will achieve success and support and recognition for what you're doing. This is a big card about recognition, okay? Your birthday's tomorrow. Happy early birthday. I love it. Thank you, Monty. <laughs> Oops, hang on. You needed to hear that? Good. Thank you guys for reminding the audience this is a collective reading. I appreciate you. <laughs> I don't even know if he's on today. He says, does that mean we get to see Domingo in his swim trunk showing off the guns? Oh, my God. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> okay, let's look at Wednesday. All right, Wednesday, we have the Ace of Swords is what it looks like. This is a new, like I said, it's a new deck. So we have the Ace of Swords. 
this is really good energy so far, you guys. I mean, this new moon is like kicking us in the ass. It's lighting a fire underneath us. The Ace of Swords is about clear thinking, clear communication. We are in Mercury retrograde where thinking and communication can be completely wonky, right? So on Wednesday, you have this opportunity to not only have clear thinking and communication, it's also about seeing the truth, understanding the truth, having maybe new ideas come up because we just had that new moon in Leo, which brings about this creative energy of like, you're going to have these new thoughts, these new inklings of, oh, maybe I should do that. Okay, so if you need to communicate with someone, Wednesday is going to be the best day, but also keep track of any amazing ideas that you come that you have come through, okay? Because this is something brand new. And if you go with this, it will be successful because the Ace of Swords is all about this is a new idea, some sort of communication through wisdom that will be successful because it is through wisdom. It's from a higher vibration and it's not something like from the ego where you're like, oh, well, I want that. And it's just going to make me look better or it's going to make me feel better. No, it's like, I know this is going to be the best course of action for me. Okay. <laughs> Duncan, no one wants to see Domingo in his swim shorts. Love him though. I know he's a menace. Like I said, I don't even think he's on right now. He's going to contemplate all week. Look, probably. <laughs> okay. Let's look at Thursday. I like this deck so far. Okay, we have temperance in reverse on Thursday. This is a major arcana, okay? When temperance is in reverse, it's telling you beware that you need to slow down, okay? There's something going here where you're going to feel like either yourself or society or the people around you are just like out of balance, out of sorts, okay? So this is not a good time to do anything major. You have to rein in that energy and really check in with yourself. What are your core values? What is it actually that you want, okay? So you might have, like we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Swords happening. All this new, wonderful, positive energy. And then on Thursday, we might have some negativity come in and you start second-guessing yourself, okay? You might have somebody outside of you, like kind of poo-pooing on your idea or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. And you're like, wait a minute, is this what I really want? Like, why, maybe I should second-guess this. Maybe, maybe it's not meant for me. Uh-uh. When you know yourself, you will never let anybody cause you to second guess yourself. Okay? Give me one second. You know the drill. My fucking nose is running. Hang on. I thought we were going to get away with not having to do this, but give me one sec. Clearly, I need to start investing in a never-ending box of tissues on my desk. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, but is that making sense, though? Okay, about your self-confidence, your self-awareness. Hang on, Glenn. I'm trying to unhide your... Yes, discernment. Yes. But is that making sense? Are you understanding, like, how temperance is telling you that if you're not solid in who you are, if you're not aware always of what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're thinking, as far as does this align with me, then you're going to experience turbulence. You're going to experience frustration. Also, there might be an issue where there could be um, some miscommunication, some you know wonkiness within relationships as well because temperance also uh, regulates relationships. Why? Because it requires you to know who you are. It requires them to know who they are, right? To be in this balanced state for you to have, have a positive and cohesive relationship, right? So temperance is in reverse, be aware, and do not like be aware of like escapism, okay? Because temperance can also mean overindulging. And that could be in alcohol, drugs, sex, food, social media, TV, whatever it is, okay? It's doing too much of something. So just be aware, Thursday's the only wonky day so far, okay? Let's look at the bottom of the deck and see. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So this could indicate that you're wanting to make some major changes because you haven't quite found your legacy yet. 
okay? Your legacy is whatever you want to make it. It could very well be that you have not built your financial wealth yet, so now you're ready to start, okay? Because the Ten of Pentacles is something that you start with and you spend a lot of time, energy, and effort into building. This is building your wealth, right? I'm sorry, this is Ten of Cups, you guys. Why am I talking about Ten of Pentacles? That's interesting. I, maybe it's both. Because the Ten of Cups in reverse, both Ten. I'm sorry, you guys. That was very interesting. Nothing happens by accident, right? So let's talk about the Ten of Cups as well as the Ten of Pentacles because I feel like they're going hand in hand right here. Okay, so the Ten of Cups is about unhappiness. Like you haven't reached that ideal picture of what it is that you want in life, okay? We all have this mental image that sits right up here of what it is that we want in life. And it's always like this carrot dangling in front of us, you know? And that's part of your legacy, okay? Is that picture. If you have not stepped towards that mental image of what it is that you are wanting in life, that ideal situation, then you will forever have that carrot dangling in front of you and you will never reach it. Okay? And you'll get to the end of the and you'll get to the end of your life and that carrot will be rotten and you'll be like, damn, I should have got to it a lot sooner. I should have stopped worrying what other people thought. I should have invested in me and did my own thing to go have my own experience. Does that make sense? Because remember, today we have the Eight of Pentacles. That's all about investing in you, doing the work, working on yourself, fine-tuning whatever it is that you want in life. And that could be working on your health, working on your finances, working on your business, okay? Fine-tuning your career, right? Then we have the Six of Wands. This is all about personal success, really healing what it is in you because you're moving in a positive direction, right? Six is all about nurturing and healing, and it's about your circle, okay? It can be the people that you hold close are supporting you because, remember, they're part of your mastermind. If they're, not your, if they're not part of your mastermind, if they're not on the same journey as you, do not listen to the, to the negativity because they cannot see that journey. Does that make sense? They cannot comprehend what you're going towards. Got it? Okay? Then on Wednesday, we have that Ace of Swords. The new ideas, new communication, new truth, all of this newness happening. So very well, you could experience some sort of download, new thought. Somebody could come in and say something to you that sparks something within you. And you're like, oh my God, yes. You might, please don't sign a new contract. We are in Mercury retrograde. If you do, make sure that you read through it three times with a fine tooth comb. And if you don't understand it, get somebody else to read it for you that will understand it. Okay? And then on Thursday, like I said, there's this wonky energy because, again, we are Mercury retrograde, all of these things happening. Don't be afraid of Mercury retrograde. It's, it's just a time for you to step back and slow down and review, okay? We have temperance in reverse, so there could be an issue with a partner or it could be an issue within yourself to where you're trying to escape. You're just like, you know what, I don't think this is going to work. This is not meant for me. Or there's something going on in life where you just like overdo it or just escape from the world because you're not aligned, right? And underneath the deck, as we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, that's because there's this great unhappiness stirring within you. And it's trying to push you. And it's asking you, are you going to go forward or are you going to stay here and just escape life? Okay? Is that making sense? Good. Amy says, I no longer let the negativity get to me like it used to. Perfect. It all resonates. Good, good, good. So, yeah. And look, behind it, we have strength in reverse. So when strength is in reverse, what's happening? We're letting our own fears take over our life, okay? Our own fears take over our mindset, take over everything. And fear is a, um, oh, what's the word? Um, it's a natural instinct, right, to keep you safe. We need fear to keep us safe, but we don't need fear when we're trying to move forward towards something that's going to help us to grow. Fear, it thinks it's keeping us safe by keeping us in one position, okay? It's like, oh, no, 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 don't go out there because you don't know what's going to happen out there. You don't know what's going to get you. <laughs> but you have to understand this fear is just trying to keep you safe. It, it's not understanding that what you're about to step into is something positive, that is something that's going to help you to grow, right? So this is why you have to be aware of your fears and you have to be the one to calm them down, okay? All right, let's get some Oracle and see what else we need to know. 
And, you know, a lot of that great sadness, you know, talking about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse as well as the Ten of Cups in reverse, that great sadness, like I said, could be like, you know what, I, I've gone this far in life and I don't really have anything to show for it. You know, like you're beating yourself up because you haven't built this legacy. You haven't built your wealth. You haven't done all the things. But the universe is like, well, what have you done to move towards that, to break free from this old timeline that you're in, this old pathway? What have you done to jump to the next pathway, to the one that is aligned with you? Okay? So, I mean, it's not, it's not blaming you or judging you. It's asking you, what have you done to get yourself out of it? If you haven't done anything, then now's the time to start reevaluating that, okay? And we'll talk more about that in the master class on the 17th and 18th, you know? Aligning to your energetic blueprint that brings you to success. Because I'm telling you, when you align to your truth, when you align to your energetic blueprint, I, I speak from experience. Everything changes, not just your financial status, but the way you feel about yourself, the way you see the world, it changes. And you don't, you like, you see things happening, you're like, I really just don't give a shit about that. And I'm not talking about big negative things. I'm talking about the petty shit. You're like, I, I just don't care. It doesn't resonate with me anymore. I'm not interested. I'm just not. I'm so much more interested in what's going on on my path, on my journey, and the people that are on it, you know? All right, let's see what else. We have the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, which is interesting because I was looking at this card. I was like, oh, we have a lot of blue. I'm even wearing blue, and the blue is connected to, to the throat chakra. Plus, we have clear communication on Wednesday, right? So, Archangel Gabriel is the messenger. He shows up on... Um, he shows up in the major arcana on judgment, right? Because he's like blowing the horn, like waking you up. And so if you need help communicating, yeah, it is a blue deck, yeah. Both of them are, huh? So if you need help with communication, you call on Archangel Gabriel to help you communicate your truth, to help you communicate clearly and concisely. So like, let's say you're going on an interview or let's say you're having to have a tough conversation with somebody. You ask Archangel Gabriel to be with you so you can communicate clearly and concisely all from the highest good, for the highest good okay that's also how I bless my decks I ask them to communicate the truth to us all for the highest good from the highest good to where we can clearly and concisely understand it okay so I like that you wearing blue from head to toe very nice <laughs> uh, let's do Queen of the Moon oh I have two others over here that I wanted to use that I haven't used in a long time Yes, and if you have a blue crystal, move it counterclockwise around your throat. Nice. Yeah, it's all blue. This is blue too. Yeah, that's funny. Interesting. And it's funny because I almost wore um, this little black jumpsuit, but I was like, no, let's go with blue today. Look, we have boundaries, okay? So that's what I was talking about here, especially with temperance in reverse, okay? You need to have boundaries with people, but you also need to have boundaries with yourself. If you know that you are crossing your own boundaries, that is your fault. I'm just saying, okay? So you have to be the one that maintains your own boundaries, whether it be with yourself or other people. So if you're crossing your own boundaries, guess what? You're setting the energetic standard that anybody can cross your boundaries because you're doing it yourself. Make sense? <laughs> so... You know, boundaries are, are something that is extremely important in your life, okay? If you can't set boundaries, then you're screwed, okay? You can set boundaries, but if you won't do it, if you won't put it into practice, and if you won't maintain them, then you're screwed. Anybody can fix this, okay? So it's really important to maintain those boundaries, especially this week. And that's why, you know, sometimes it's like don't tell people that you know are not on your same path, don't tell them what's going on in your life. Don't tell them the projects that you're working on because they cannot understand it. They cannot comprehend it. And so they are going to like crap on it. <laughs> I even had somebody, you know, I was in that, I'm in that uh, year long mastermind with Dr. Joe Vitale. And we have to do like these breakout groups with the other members where we sit and, and, and talk about what we just talked about with Dr. Joe Vitale. And one of the gals is a mindset coach 
And I told her, uh, we were talking about goals and stuff like that. I told her a goal of mine and she goes, like she was shocked. And I'm like, there's your problem, you know, because what we are supposed to be teaching is li no limits living, right? And living in abundance and anything is possible. But as soon as I told her my goal, she, she was like, oh, like, like, wow, you know, and she was shocked. And I immediately knew that she was like, that's impossible. And I'm like, anything's possible, you know? So I'm like, I don't think you should be a mindset coach when you're shocked by people's goals, <laughs> right? You wear blue scrubs Monday through Friday. That's awesome. I was saying, um, cause we got, and we got the throat chakra and then this one's blue. And I was saying that uh, I decided to wear blue and like the cards are blue. All of that. So that's what we're talking about, blue. But does that make sense? You know? This is how you, you pay attention to the people. And this is like somebody that you know you shouldn't be talking to anymore about your goals. Because they can't comprehend that happening. So, yeah. Guess who I won't be <laughs> really investing in conversation with, right? She's got some learning to do. And it's not through judgment. It's just like observation. Okay? This is why you have to use discernment with who you're telling your stuff to, and who you're learning from, okay? All of these people on social media call themselves a coach because they just call themselves a coach or they got a simple certificate online and they have not achieved really anything in their life. And they are moving through a lack mindset. They're hoping that you are going to be the one that makes them abundant by them just regurgitating stuff that they hear online, right? You have to make sure that who you're learning from is actually walking the walk, okay? Somebody that has actually come from the, the trenches out and can show you exactly how to do that, okay? And that could be me or it could be somebody else, whoever you resonate with, okay? It does not have to be me. If you don't resonate with me, that is okay, okay? I don't want you trying to force something that doesn't fit because then we're going to have a hard time and I, I'm not about that life. Like if it's not working, I'm like, you know what? I'm out. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Uh, that's my problem. I always like to share what I want to do and it backfires. Oh, I speak from experience too. You have to know your audience, okay? Yes, it's okay to ask your coaches for receipts. I love that, Jamie. 100%. Like most of the people on my lives have been here from the beginning, okay? And so they know everything that has happened because I have no problem sharing with them everything that's going on in my life, all of the stuff that has happened because I want them to see that it is 100% possible for them, right? All the ladies in my tribe have been there for a while. There are, we have some new ones, right? Which is amazing. And so they can attest that they have seen everything happen from what, 2021 on. So they know that I walk the walk and they know that I put this stuff into practice and they've seen the results through me. And so I hope that they see that this is 100% possible for them, okay? You just have to show up to your own life, okay? You've learned the hard way to keep your ideas to yourself. Look, a lot of us have and it sucks, but you know what? This is why, you guys, this is why you need to be in a mastermind. Okay, this is why you need to connect with people that are on a similar journey so they don't shit all over your dreams and goals, you know, because uh, people on the outside will never get it because they just, they are not in that vibration. They can't see it and it's not their fault, but you have to maintain that boundary of, you know what? They can't see this. They're on a different vibration from me. So I need to talk to people that are on a similar vibration as me. And that's what the mastermind is. Okay. The OGs, yep. <laughs> she said, it's been, it's been incredible to share and witness this journey with you. Same, Jamie, same. I'm so fortunate to have all of you with me. And I'm so fortunate to be able to go on this journey. And it wouldn't have been possible if, number one, my mentor hadn't encouraged me. And number two, I hadn't, like, really had a talk with myself and said, you know what? This is not how our life is going to go. We're going to change it right now. And I did. Okay, and I'm going to talk to you about all of that stuff in the mastermind. I'm going to talk to you exactly how I changed my life. And this works across the board. Okay, you don't have to be a tarot reader like me. You don't have to be a coach like me. Whatever it is that you're wanting to do in this world, you can apply all of the things that I'm going to share with you on the 17th and 18th. Okay. 
Hang on just a second. I'll look at your comments. All right, what else do we need to know? We have wide open and reverse. Let's see. Let's read it. You're about to get a talking to. <laughs> and this was like already, like you can see the, the pages that come out often, and this was one of them. <laughs> so we get this card often. Reversed. Envy, jealousy, and possessiveness are the character flaws to be careful of at this time. You or someone else is closed off, unable to remain open to new ideas or intimacy. We've been talking about this. The cards know, okay? Heed the gentle warning that too tight a hold on what or who you love or what you aspire to will choke the life out of that which you desire. Open your heart and loosen your grip, for what is truly yours can never be withheld from you. If another is shutting you down, let that person be. Don't try to force a door or a mind to open. See? Boom. The cards, no. <laughs> the cards hear us and, and they connect. And they're just confirming everything that we're talking about. Okay? So, if you have people around you that are causing you to be closed off, then you need to reevaluate the people that you have around you. Okay? Let's see. Sadly, most people want to see you fail due to their own lack. Yes, that's exactly what the card was talking about too, for sure. They will 100% uh, dump their negativity on you. Yes. Your book also helps. When I feel like I need a message, I open to a page. It always resonates. Good. Yay. I used to think anything is possible, but had so many downfalls. Listen, you ha anything is possible. You have to go through different trials and tribulations to find your way, okay? So don't get discouraged. If I would have stopped at every freaking roadblock that I hit, I wouldn't be here today, okay? I've gone through hell and back. Let me tell you, hell and back, okay? And so this is what my job is, is to go through all of those experiences so I can help you through Okay, because I guarantee you, we probably had a similar experience one way or another. This is what it means to help other people. You're going to go through trials and tribulations. Things are going to work and things aren't going to work. That, that's okay. Just disregard the things that don't work and keep moving on, looking for the thing that does work. And the way that you do that more easily is you need to know who you are. You need to understand your energetic blueprint. Okay. And again, we're going to talk about more of this in the masterclass. Okay. So if you have not registered, I highly recommend that you do. <laughs> we're going to talk about a lot. Yes, mind over matter. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Gina. Yes, 100%. It's your pathway to have rough patches at times. Yep. It's crazy. We chose our life before we came here. It is. It is crazy. It's like, you know what? I need to go experience this because I want to have this human experience. I want to see what this actually feels like to go through something that is not just all sunshine and rainbows, right? And so we come here to have these experiences and it's just like, what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> I was really ambitious in my planning. I mean, I gave myself a life path one, gave myself a self-projected projector in my human design, um, you know, gave myself Aries rising as my natal, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, the big, I think the biggest struggle for me is knowing when it's not meant for me and when to push through. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like you have to step back and evaluate. Am I trying to make this happen because I feel like this is the only way I could be successful or this is the only thing left for me? Or am I just struggling because I need to overcome an obstacle? So one, you know, one is going to put you in a toxic place of, of being stagnant and trying to fit into something that's not yours or like a relationship, a job, something like that. And another is going to push you past your fear of I'm not good enough. Okay. That's a big one is that I'm not good enough. Okay. I never want to come back here. Look, you're preaching to the choir. <laughs> oh, hello. Look at that. So this is my Healing with the Angels Oracle deck. I haven't used this in ages. And look, we got friendships. Okay? So this is what it's all about. It's about finding your tribe, finding your people, finding your mastermind to grow with. And, you know, that includes, that's not just like business-like. This is like across the board in your life. Connecting with people, being friends with people that are of a similar vibration, of our, you know, a similar journey. Okay, because we have like 
major different journeys, right? And the path is, is, is wide when it comes to when you're dealing with other people. Your path is narrow, but it's like on like a wider path, if that makes sense. Kind of like a, a highway. You're all going in the same direction, but you have your lane to focus on, which is your significant, unique, energetic blueprint, right? But you're part of this wider lane. So all the people on, on the highway, it's not like it is here in Dallas, but <laughs> they, you know, you're all working together. You're all supporting one another. You're all like encouraging each other to go. So this is what you need across the board in your life when it comes to your friendships, when it comes to your business partnerships, your mastermind, all of that, okay? So this week, really evaluate who you're hanging around and who you're telling your stuff to because I guarantee there's some people around you that are not so supportive, that are really like-minded, and that don't believe that anything is possible, okay? I still don't understand why I would have chosen this path. I go through so much trials and tribulations. I often feel like no one understands me. Because you're meant to overcome them. Because you are meant to break some sort of energetic cycle. I was the same way. I used to ask, what the hell is wrong with me? Like, why is this happening to me? What, what, like, it seems like it's only happening to me. And, and I'm telling you, as soon as I started really diving into myself and my spirituality and my blueprint and everything, it all made sense. And then I took control and the shit doesn't happen anymore. Okay? So you can do it. You haven't found your tribe yet? Well, you can look into my tribe. We'll be happy to help you. We're happy to have you and help you. <laughs> okay, so make sure I wasn't missing. Okay, so this is the Shamanic Medicine Oracle cards. So let's see. I haven't used this one in a while either. I'm glad I rearranged my uh, shelving unit back there because... I think it gave new energy to it, and these cards are like, hello, <laughs> remember me? Okay, let's see. What is our message for this week? You're welcome. Your life is filled with abuse. I'm telling you, I've been through every sort of abuse you can think of. Okay, 100%. And, <clears throat> you know, I've learned to move away from that and realize that that's not going to happen again. It happened in the past. I learned from it. It's not going to happen again. So... Yeah, you can absolutely step out of that. Ooh, we got Trickster Challenge. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to read this because I haven't used this deck in a while. And I know there's going to be a really good message here. Okay. Hopefully it's in alphabetical order. I think it is. Okay. It says, the trickster takes many forms, male or female, god or goddess, spirit or animal. They are all wise and skilled in self-willed behaviors. The trickster pushes people's boundaries to, te to test whether they run or stay the course. We learn from the unexpected experiences and teachings the trickster brings. Sadly, this purpose and meaning has been lost in modern times where the trickster is often depicted as a fool, clown, or comic. So with this, this is exactly what we were just talking about. The trickster is the one that like gets you into these situations to see. I mean, the trickster can be connected to our higher selves, right? Because we put ourselves in these situations to see if we can overcome it, okay? So the trickster is like, hey, let's do a little test and see if you're going to make it out. <laughs> and we all want to say, fuck you. But that's part of life is going through these different scenarios to, to, to grow within ourselves, right? To take our power back and to really connect back with our higher self that is like, oh, no, 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 I'm not playing this game. You know what? I learned the last time. Fool me once. Shame on me. Okay. Fool me twice. I'm going to fuck you up. No. <laughs> yeah. But you understand what I'm saying? Like, you can overcome this stuff seriously. I like that. So, like, any challenge, like we were just talking about, any challenges that you've faced, no, it doesn't mean it's your fault. It just means that you have the opportunity to overcome this. You have the opportunity to to um to push against it as far as like uh uh this is not my story and that's what I was telling you earlier is when I had to have that talk with myself and I said this is not our story this is not what we're doing this is not how the rest of our life is going to play out right and so I changed it all and so you can do the same exact thing okay you agree with that statement <laughs> I should quote it right I keep asking myself that Sometimes it feels like 
two steps forward and 10 back. Yeah, I mean, it, and it will, but it's all just part of the dance. Think about it, that as a dance, you know, it's like, okay, is this aligned with me? And the main way that you're not going to take 10 steps, 10 steps back anymore is you have a clear focus. You know who you are. You're, you're aware of your energetic blueprint, your core values, all of that stuff. And you're like, you know what? That doesn't align with me. So I'm moving this way. That aligns with me. So let's go this way. That, that doesn't. So I'm going to go this way. It's just all about what aligns with you and your truth, okay? Uh, it's frustrating because I like to uplift people, not bring them down. However, it seems like people only come around me for my energy. Let me tell you, Starlight, you're reading my story. 100%. Same thing happened to me. You have to stop giving that energy away. I'm, I'm speaking from experience. Uh, that was my entire life. I was like, how can I, how is it that I can help everybody? And everybody comes to me for advice, but yet they step on my head to get higher. You have to stop giving that away and you have to maintain strict boundaries. And you're probably going to lose some of the people that are closest to you right now because they're so used to crossing your boundaries. Okay. But if you start maintaining those boundaries, you're going to attract people that respect you and, and value the energy that you bring. Okay. And you're going to stop going through this crap of people, you know, siphoning off of you. And you will start to see that you grow by leaps and bounds. Okay? I promise you that. Was scared to join us, made me come out of my shell. As last week I was acknowledged on live. Yes, you were. You've been doing so great, Elizabeth. What is the bl blueprint? Your blueprint is, it's your, your astrology, it's your numerology, it's your human design, it's your gene keys, it's all of the things that are telling you this is the energy you came into this life with and this is what you have to use to, to bring about whatever it is that you're wanting to like step into, okay? So for me, I'm a life path one, I am an Aries rising, I am a self-projected projector in human design, I am meant to be a leader, I'm meant to be a coach, I'm meant to go first and then tell everybody, hey, this is the way to go. Okay, I'm meant to also in my projector style, I can see things, I can see patterns and I can see different things that most people can't because most of my energy centers are open. So I'm absorbing all of your energy, all of your vibration. So it allows me to process that and see it and be like, hey, this could be your problem. Have you thought about this? And I can also break down things that are complicated and make them very simple. Okay, that's my abilities. So this is why it's important for you to know your energetic blueprint so you can see what your natural abilities are and you can just really step into that, okay? And like I said, I'm going to talk more in depth on that in the masterclass, okay? So if you have not gotten in there, you guys, I'm going to give you every single thing that I possibly can in those two days, okay? Um, happens to you too? Awesome. Okay, yeah. Feel emotionally and physically exhausted. I'm not happy with the way my life is. You got to change it. You got to change it, my love. You are the only one that can do that. Okay, nobody else can do it because if you're waiting on somebody else to change your life, that change will leave as soon as they do. Okay, you have to change your life because then that's your that's yours to keep, and you'll be so freaking proud of yourself. Okay. Yes, people are definitely drawn to us. One hundred percent. Okay, let's get our money message. It starts on the 17th at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, and it goes until 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, both days. On the 18th, there will be an extra hour of Q&A for people that get the VIP or Elite VIP ticket. So you'll have a, an hour of Q&A with me. If you get the Elite VIP, then you get a private one-on-one 30-minute -on -one coaching session with me, okay? Go to the link in my bio. Go to 22.guru. And you're going to see, it says Universal Blueprint to Six Figure Success, and that's where you register, okay? Oops. Hang on. Nope, they said put it back. Or not put it back, but take it back out. Because we got, I love this. This is why. Okay. So we got Planner. I almost put that back, and I got I listened to that little inkling, okay? This is how you, you do this. This is why when you're doing tarot readings and oracle readings, you don't want chaos. You don't want cards flying everywhere, all of that, because you need to hear the messages that come to you. Because I almost put that back, and I heard, uh-uh, take it back, okay? So it says planner. 
There's three ways. To, hang on, I gotta verify myself on TikTok. There we go. Okay, so it says planner. Like I said, there's three ways to resonate here. Number one, pay attention to detail and create a plan to grow your business or personal finances. I mean, hello. We have the eight of pentacles right here, right? That's your energy of the day today. Number two, careers in event planning, project manager, or professional organizer could be for you. If that's something that you are drawn to, that's your green light to go for it, okay? Number three, this is a great time to take a financial inventory and see what needs changing. 100%. If you're like, I get so many people that tell me, I can't afford it. I can't do this and this and that. And I'm like, bullshit, bullshit. Look at the stuff that you waste your money on every day. People go to Starbucks. People buy, you know, stuff off of Amazon. People do all these things because their growth is not yet a priority to them. When your growth becomes a priority, you will do whatever it takes to bring that into your life. I'm, I'm just saying, okay? I had to have that talk with myself too. So this is not in judgment. But if you, if it is a priority, you will make time and you will, you will get it there, okay? Somebody else told me something and I can't remember what it was. And I was like, manifest it. You believe in manifestation, don't you? Manifest it. Use your abilities. Come on. <laughs> Look behind it. Embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Remember, we have all of this stuff. We have boundaries. You know, we we're talking about fear. We we're talking about strength in reverse. And I was saying that, you know, you're like, oh, I don't know. Your fear is like, I don't know. This is something different. I don't know if it's going to work for me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just going to stay right here. What if you embrace the idea of the unknown. What if things could be completely different in your life, but you can't, you can't see 10 steps down the lane. You're going to have to trust in yourself and trust in the divine. And that's going to move you forward. But you have to embrace the unknown. You have to think, you know what? Anything is possible. Cause I, let me tell you something. I never would have thought that I could go from zero, literal zero to six figures in a very short amount of time in my spiritual business. Because if you'll look, most people that have a spiritual business, most spiritual practitioners, they have to have a day job, okay? Because they either, number one, they've been doing it a long time. They don't, you know, put themselves on social media and everything because that was like a struggle back then, right? And it was all taboo. But also number two, they don't believe that they are deserving of abundance, which drives me crazy because we teach about abundance that everybody is deserving of abundance, but yet these spiritual practitioners are like, oh, I, I can't charge. They think it's like, it's like an egoic thing. Like, I don't charge for my services. Well, I do. I do. Because I'm giving you everything that I've got. <laughs> and this is my job. This is how I pay for stuff. This is how I have a roof over my head and feed my children and all that other stuff, right? So it's like, you have to, I, I never would have thought that I would have gone that quickly, right? But I opened the door up for that to happen. And you have to do the same thing for you. You have to open the door up of possibility. Of like, you know what? What if, what if I do deserve all this goodness? What if I do deserve to have the career that I've been sitting here and dreaming of, right? But have not achieved because I keep it as a dangling carrot in front of myself because I love to torture myself. But what if I let myself have it? You know, what if I take the carrot off the string and I eat that motherfucker, <laughs> you know? What if? It can happen. So excited for all that's coming. Me too. Uh, will I be doing the master class again in the future? It's not the right time for me. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any plans per se. Um, it's just going to depend. This is our first one that we're doing, right, for... Uh, the, the abundance side, normally I'm doing like tarot class. If you're wanting to learn tarot too, tarot class starts August 27th, okay? Everything's linked in my bio. You can find the information to the master class and tarot apprenticeship in my bio, okay? Make sure it aligns with you. And if it does, come on in. Um, but yeah, I don't know yet about the master class. We'll have to see how it goes and um, all of that. All right, let's get some more. But does all that make sense to y'all about what I was just saying before that? I've got some, Gina, I've got some things in the works um, for next year, and I'm just letting it marinate because I'm not sure how I want to go about certain things. On point, good. 
Look, so we have male energy. We have Mars energy happening here. This says male energy, Mars, a man plays a role or divine masculine. What is divine masculine? Divine masculine takes action. Okay? He can be constructive or he can be destructive. Is this you or is this another person around you? Okay? You have to decide. You know exactly who this is. Now, whether or not you're willing to accept the truth is a different story. Okay? That's the whole thing. It's like we always have the truth in here. It's just we talk ourselves out of it. Okay? You gotta stop doing that. You want to learn from me? I'm, I'm glad. The siphoning thing you talked about. Yep, yep. They love to siphon your energy. What else? What else? You know, and with the, the money cards, you know, we had planner and embrace, was it? Embrace the wisdom of the unknown. It's like, what if you planned for success instead of failure all the time? What if you did that? Look, here we have concern number 33. Right? This is your, I don't want to say this is your problem, but it is. Okay? So number 33 is the master healer. And here we have concern. What needs to be healed? Well, you're, you're planning for disaster. You're planning for things to go wrong. I hate for, I, I hate that saying it says, hope for the best but plan for the worst. What the fuck is that? That is the most back ass word saying you can ever repeat. I know, it's your number. Every time I see it, Jamie, I think about you, right? It's like, what you plan for is what's going to happen, okay? So here we have concern. It's like, there's all this worry happening. Like, you know, what if this happens? What if this happens? Like, shut up and just go for it. <laughs> I don't mean to be, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just like, stop, stop it, <laughs> you know? I, like I said many times before, I wish I could just flip that switch inside you to get you to stop worrying about everything. And I know it's better or easier said than done, but I'm going to try to do that in this masterclass. And I do it as much as I can here on live, right? <laughs> I mean, it's just, fuck. Stop it. That resonated? Okay. Uh, let's see what else. What else? What else? What else? Um, trying to see which one's calling to me. Let's do spirit animal. I have you cracking up. Good. <laughs> well, that's the thing, you know, it's like, we always need somebody to like speak truth into us one way or the other, you know? And, and like I say, everything that I say to you, I've had to say to myself. Okay. So it's like, there's no judgment here. It's just like, if you could see the other side, like I can, like if you can see like you have this door in front of you, right? And so far it's locked because you don't believe it can be unlocked, right? But if you could see what is on the other side of that door, you wouldn't worry about anything. You would just open it, like slam that shit open and be like, here I am. Uh, because, and I say that because I've, I've gotten on the other side of my door and it's so much better. <laughs> so much better, okay? Who, who on TikTok and Instagram is in the masterclass or is planning to get into the masterclass? Buster, like the Kool-Aid man, exactly. You, good. Tanya, are you in it or are you planning to get in it? I can't remember, I'm sorry, I don't have the list in front of me. You're in the masterclass, awesome. Your work is in the way. Gina, you can also get the recordings. Okay, if you can't make it on the 17th and 18th, if you get the VIP or the elite VIP, you do get the recordings. Okay, you plan to? Okay, you're in. Perfect, Tanya. Lisa's in. Hopefully, but not sure you can yet. There's no hope. You affirm. I'm doing the class because this is what I'm manifesting into my life. Okay. Planning to, good. You're looking at it now, awesome. 
There are, Elizabeth, there are payment options through Klarna at checkout, okay? You signed up and you're in? Awesome. You got girls weekend that weekend. I mean, that sounds like fun. But yeah, like I said, if you're really wanting to, you know, have the information, but you can't make it, get the VIP or the elite VIP and you will get the recordings, okay? You'll get both sessions plus the Q&A recordings, okay? Uh, let's see. Look, we have White Stag Protector. Yeah, you're welcome. I try to make it as accessible as possible for everybody. That's why I put Klarna on there. So if you need to break it up into payments, you could go through Klarna and do that. Uh, look, we have White Stag Protector. It says, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. This is what I'm talking about. That's the whole what if. Like, what if I go this way? I, like, if I'm really feeling drawn to this direction, so what if I go this way? And you could do it. Awaken to the powerful force within you. I'm telling you, you have your own truth. You have your own abilities. Rock them, all right? Uh, you are meant to create blessings with your magic. There you go, okay? It is not just... Like, everybody has abilities, but not everybody is going to awaken to those abilities. Not everybody is going to use their abilities. So if you decide to use yours, you are going to skyrocket. Okay? And again, I speak from experience. If you haven't signed up, do it. You will gain so much from what Erica teaches. Thank you, Jamie. Love you. She's been my mentor for three years and is so supportive. Aw. I love you. You'll be able to access them anytime. Okay, hang on, let me catch up. If I sign up and can't join, will it be recorded? Yes, Lupe, that's what I was just saying. Yeah, if you get the VIP or the Elite VIP, you get the recordings. Yeah. Because again, like I said, I'm going to be sharing a ton of information with you and um, you're gonna wanna go back through it multiple times. What time is it? 1040, we still got a little bit of time. Let's do this one. Klarna doesn't work in Iowa? Oh, weird. I'm so sorry. I did not know that. Interesting. Do y'all have like, um, like a firm or whatever it's called? I can't remember what it's called other pay providers? Because if so, I can look into those. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize, I thought Klarna worked for like the whole United States. Look, create a spiral. We got this one the other day too. It says, I am flowing with the seasons. What are the seasons? The seasons are different cycles of life. Okay? And it's number eight. There we go. We're in the eighth month. Eight is all about financial gain. Eight is also about being in that karmic flow. Well, karma it, it just is. It's not positive or negative. It just is. It's energy, okay? So when, you are, when you're going with the seasons and you're focusing on your goal, focusing that energy, you will receive results, okay? But what if we have questions? Do we have a way to contact you to help our path? If you do the Elite VIP, you get a 30-minute coaching session with me. And you can ask all the questions you want during that session. That's going to be a session that is led by you. You come with your questions and everything, and I will coach you through them. Let's see. Let's see. What else? And the Elite VIP is very limited, you guys. So um, once it's sold out, it's sold out. Like I can only schedule so many sessions and I don't want to make it too big to where I can't, you know, get to everybody. We have high priest intend and create. Here we go. Okay. This matches this male energy, right? You take action. You focus that energy. Think of the magician in tarot. The magician focuses the energy to bring himself into that space where, where, where whatever it is that he wants exists. Okay. So there you go, focusing that energy and pushing it forward to whatever it is that you want. See the hawk? The hawk, I wanna make sure I was seeing that right. The hawk has like, I mean, incredible vision, right? They're flying overhead and they spot what they want and they're like, bam, and they go grab it. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, flow with the astrological seasons as well. Yes, Leo season, now focus on building confidence within your Leo house. Virgo season is coming up. Focus on Virgo, Virgoan themes. <laughs> It's a masterclass mostly for those wanting to create a business or already have a business. Both wanting to create or already have a business, but also if you're wanting to expand your career, you can get into the masterclass as well. Because like I said, these are going to be, you know, we're going to talk about your energetic blueprint. We're going to talk about universal laws and the laws of success. We're going to talk about all of those things. I'm going to also help you with, like if you're wanting to uh, build on social media, I'll tell you the observations of that, um, all the things. So yeah, we're going to cover a lot of topics. Any other questions before I log off, you guys? We've gotten a lot of information here. This is, this is awesome. I love doing these. I know I say this every time, but I really do love doing these. <laughs> You're welcome. If you missed the beginning of the reading, don't worry. I put it up on uh, YouTube, sometimes on TikTok, sometimes like today. We'll see if TikTok lets me upload it because the last one went too long and TikTok wouldn't let me upload it. Um, so I just had to put it on YouTube. So you can follow me on YouTube as well. It's at 22 guru, um, just like it is on TikTok. Um, but yeah, I, I post all of this. If you have any questions about the masterclass or tarot apprenticeship, feel free to email me, um, or DM me if you need, but yeah, everything should be laid out for you. Hopefully easy to understand, but if you do have extra questions, I'm happy to answer them. Okay. Tarot class starts on August 27th. If you can't make it to classes, then you can do the self-paced module. It's the same exact teachings, okay? It's just you're going through it on your own and at your own pace, and you can review it as many times as you need, okay? Tarot class, tarot apprenticeship is going to start the 27th. It's every Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, okay? We go for about an hour to two hours. It just depends on the conversation in the class, and I keep that pretty small so we can have good conversation, okay? And you get a, cert a, a certification at the end of the live tarot apprenticeship. The self-paced, I don't have certification process set up yet, but I will in the future, okay? You have helped me to become and understand who I am. Ah, thank you, Tiffany. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I just give you the information and you run with it. So you did this too. You're so very welcome. Oh, the Rebel deck. Thank you for the reminder. I knew I was forgetting something. That's why I was like <laughs> sitting here looking. Yes, Rebel deck. Thank you. I almost forgot. Okay, let's do this right quick. You're welcome, to Tracy. I almost try to say your whole name in one go. All right, what do we need to know? This is the Rebel deck. This one's pretty spicy. Love it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I appreciate every single one of y'all. Like, seriously, I, I love doing this. Are you ready? Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. <laughs> Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. I love this deck so much. I'm going to read it again. Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. I mean, it's true, though. It is true. Like, you have to stop bitching about your life, and you have to start actually taking action and doing things. Okay, I'm telling you, I speak from experience. I used to, why is me, woe is me, and all that shit. And until I stopped doing that and started just like focusing and making boss moves, everything changed then. Okay, called out. I know, I know. I love it so much. Look, behind it says, ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. If that ain't, if that ain't the fucking truth, ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. This is so freaking true, especially for learning divination. What you see on these apps is not it, you guys. You need to learn from somebody who is trained, okay? You can tr get trained in psych uh, being a psychic, being a psychic medium. You get trained in astrology. You get trained in numerology. You can, you can get trained in uh, tarot, all of those things, okay? I teach tarot. I don't have yet. I am going to develop my numerology course eventually, um, but I've got all these other things that are jumping in line in front of it. <laughs> but um, yeah, you need to go with somebody who is walking the walk. 
not somebody who's just talking, saying, I'm a coach and I manifested all this money, but actuality is them hoping that you're going to give them that money and then they'll be abundant, right? Doesn't work that way, okay? So you all have a wonderful week. I will see you Friday morning, 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'll get an, another reading for the weekend. We'll talk some more and just, I love it, okay? Mwah, love you all and I'll see you then. Go get in the masterclass.